Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Um, I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. I going Can you hear me? Um a little bit is is breaking up. Can you repeat? All right, I cannot I cannot hear you. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. All right. No problem. All right. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's class. I can see three people as listeners. Okay. Um, let's see. Welcome, everyone. So is anybody there who is not going to be a listener? Hello, hello, everyone. Hi there, welcome to the class, everyone. How are you today? How do you feel? Hello, hello. Can you hear me, everyone? Okay, is anybody there? Or not? Are you going to be a listener, all of you? All right. So in that case, I'm going to wait for someone that is not going to be a listener. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Today, I have been very, very hot. It's oh. cold. Yeah. I uh, know. And I listening the break, break, break news, breaking, breaking news. Uh huh. In Italy, I uh, register a record the temperature. Uh, yeah. 3.8, maybe. I know, I know. I mean, you know, we have a terrible weather here in El Salvador. It's, it's terrible. However, I feel that people in other countries, they are not used to. <laughs> So for them, it's, it's even harder. I yeah. mean, we are used to, we have hot <laughs> all the time. So Always. yeah, I think yeah. that our bodies resist and we know yeah. what to do when we feel this kind of weather. But imagine those people in other countries that they never had those temperatures. So. Yeah. Or, uh... The day I used to 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 extreme mm -hmm. hot and cold. Yeah, I mean it's similar in the USA. Mm -hmm. Imagine that will happen here. We are very used to hot weather, but if suddenly we had cold weather, I mean we're gonna die. <laughs> you uh, do you prefer cold? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I think that if you feel, I mean, if it is very cold, I mean, you can take a, a sweater, you can do something about it, right? I mean, you can set fire or something, <laughs> but with hot, I mean, how can you control hot weather is, it's not so good. Uh, it's not easy to control. 
from temperature begin begin a sweater. I'm sorry. Uh, from I don't know that I I don't. Uh, from from uh, from temperature to use sweater. Sweater or coat. Sweater mm -hmm. is more for yeah cold weather, but if it is not so cold, but if it is very cold, we o sea, wear lo... coat. <laughs> lo que no he podido expresar. Lo que quiero decir es desde qué temperatura de de frío ocupa suéter. Ah, <laughs> well, honestly, I'm not sure. It depends. I'm a little sensitive to cold weather because, for example, if I go to El Pital, <laughs> for wow. me, it's pretty cold. I have to use sweater and I'm shaking. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I am kind of sensitive to cold weather. Okay. And you? I begin in swear from 17, 16 grades. Okay, okay. It's, I feel fresh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, but I prefer cold. Cold, definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely. I think that everyone. <laughs> or how about you guys? Do you prefer? hot weather or cold weather what do you think everyone good evening teacher in my case i prefer cold weather cold yeah yes. right i think it's much better <laughs> yes. all right welcome to the class everybody thank you so much for being here Thank you so much for the one who has the camera on. It's a pleasure to see you here. Well, today we are going to start a new topic. Do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? Yes, no, a little bit. Ah, so you don't remember. Hmm. Do you remember review, when you review the, the concept, the types of warehouse? Very good. We reviewed the type of warehouse that we had. Very good. So at the end of the class, we were talking about leadership. Do you remember that? Yes or no? Leadership, management. We were discussing some characteristics that we find in some leaders. Yes, no, a little bit. Okay, well, if you don't remember, we are going to review that topic. Um, I can see very few students and I just want to remind you guys that attendance is important, okay? In the end of the course, you need to have a high percentage in the attendance to be able to continue in the program, okay? And remember that in order to get a hundred percent of the attendance, you need to be connected, but the full class. So we are talking about 120 minutes, okay? So let's always try to connect on time. Let's always try to be connected. Let's always try to participate. I know that you might be tired. I know that you might have a lot of work, I know, I know that it happens a lot of situations, but let's try guys to participate as much as possible, okay? Uh, use the option of listening or listener just for a real emergency, just when totally it is impossible to participate, okay? Because in the end, remember, the more you practice, the more that you will learn. Okay, and if you are listener like many times, uh, it's going to affect yourself. Okay, anyway, let's start. I'm going to share the presentation. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. 
Excellent. Okay, so today is July 20th and we are in the week number four, unit number three. And this is today's topic, explain transitions of result. There are different transitions in English, but in this moment, we are going just to focus on the transitions of result. Okay, we are going to see some punctuations that we need to respect and we are going to see different transitions. The idea is to be able to use it in a written way, but also in the speaking. That is what we more want. Okay, this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading. Uh huh. Volunteer for reading? Me, teacher. Yes, Me, go teacher. ahead. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, Osman, go ahead. Okay, well, thanks. Participants will be able to use transitions of result. So, at the end of the class, you have to be able to use of them, okay? So for this class, guys, again, we are going to learn vocabulary. So the idea is memorize the vocabulary and use it, okay? Now, uh, before that, let's review a little bit what we started yesterday. We talk about leadership and management, okay? And we were checking some adjectives that um, are some characteristics for leadership. So some of these ones are positive and some of these adjectives are negative. So do you remember the ones that we decided to be negative? What do you think? For example, arrogant. Arrogant. Arrogant is negative or positive? Negative. negative. Totally right. Totally negative. What else? Rolling. Another negative? Controlling. 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 What else? Stubborn. Stubborn. Okay. Stubborn. And do you remember the meaning for stubborn? Necio. <laughs> but you are not a stubborn, right? Never. <laughs> All right. I know their negative adjective. Self decisive. Okay, dismissive. This one? Or no, indecisive. Ah, yes. yes. Indecisive. Do you consider yourself, guys, as an indecisive person? Uh huh. Yes or no? It is easy for you to make decisions. Yes or not? Yes, yeah, in some cases. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Depend on the situation. Okay. Yes, depend on the situation. Okay. I know they're is, negative. It's an uh -huh. inversion. It's an yeah. invers inversion. It's a. It's difficult. In the side. Yes. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it is. You are investing a lot of money. So, of course, it's going to be difficult. Okay. I know they're negative adjective. For the self leadership? Self-centered. Self-centered. Self yes, very good. Okay, how about the positive ones? Flexible is positive? Yes. 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 Competent? Competent. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. How about likable? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Empathetic, yes. Yes. Courageous. Courageous, yes. Mm -hmm. Self assured. Mm. Uh, yes or no? Yes. 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 And dismissive? It's negative. <laughs> Is positive or negative? It's negative. 
Yes, totally. All right. So look, we have different adjectives. So write it down. And these adjectives, guys, you can start using them. Okay. Arrogant. I, this person is very arrogant. Okay. Or imagine when some people ask you, talk about yourself. Describe yourself. Ah, okay. I am self-assured. I consider myself as an empathetic person. I am very courageous. So you can have different adjectives to describe yourself in a very positive way. Is it clear, the vocabulary? Yes? Mm -hmm. So. Yes, teacher. Okay, pretty good. So remember that this is a vocabulary that we studied yesterday. So now continue talking about leadership. Okay, let's have some quick questions that I wanted to discuss with your classmates. Okay, uh, what leadership qualities do you think you have? So first of all, let's think about what qualities a leader needs to have. What do you think? A good leader, which characteristic? Uh-huh. He's a listener. Listener, okay. What else? Uh, is helping. Okay. Helpful. Helpful, okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Dedicate. Okay. How about the ones that we already mentioned? Use the vocabulary, guys. What is another em characteristic? Empathetic. Empathetic. Em empathetic. Okay. Reflexible. Mm -hmm. Reflexible. Now, think about yourself. Which of those qualities do you have? Are you empathetic? Mm, yes or no? Are you courageous? Mm, yes or no? Okay, so I want you to think about yourself. Which of those qualities do you have? Okay, so let's discuss these questions with your classmates. I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp groups. Try to give as many details as possible because as always, remember that the purpose is that you talk a lot. Okay, um, I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp's group. Give me a second. Okay, I already sent it. Um, I can see that there are a lot of people with, um, well, some people with the listener word. So let me open up the breakup rooms. Please everyone enter to the breakup rooms. Sometimes I can see people that they don't enter, so they don't participate. And the idea is to participate, okay? Let me open up the groups. Today we are very few in the class. I don't know what's going on, but anyway. Uh, no Spanish, please answer the questions. For this activity, we only have five minutes, so it's just a bit time. Are you ready, everyone? Yes? Excellent. Let's go to work. Um, I'm great in you. Uh, this, this day I feel I feel fine. Uh, today is is better than yesterday. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. You look is fresh. <laughs> I am. A, I am a little tired, but why? Because today at the office was a little was a little busy with a lot of things. Uh -huh. I was to one place to other place so i was running all day <laughs> really but, yeah. 
Imagine, yeah, but imagine. it's almost Friday. <laughs> yeah, it's tomorrow. You you have to yeah. to happy because tomorrow is Friday. Yes. <laughs> tomorrow is Friday. Do, uh, do you work on, on Saturday? No, no. Okay. Uh, do you have people? Is I don't know how to say bajo tu liderazgo. Mm, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> but yes, I don't know how to say it. Okay. But no, I don't have I don't have a a team. Uh, but in sometimes we had to to be a leader like the like the first question we have here that okay. what leadership qualities do you think you have um in my case i i i think that um i am um let me see the the vocabulary okay i am a uh, a very flexible person and i work at the human resources area area so i treat with a lot of people a, a different kind of people so okay. you you learn how to how to treat them and and you had to to know the people to to work with them. So in my work, I I management some some process. So I had to I had to work with another with another bosses. I think you, you, it's it's correct with another bosses. So, um, being flexible uh, helps you to to make decisions, uh, better decisions, uh, be um, em empathetic. I think that I am em empathetic with people and. And you know you have to know how to connect with the people you work with. So that's a few uh, qualities I think I have when I am um, I don't know if leading or leadership a team. Okay. Okay. And what about you, Osman? Osman Pamela. Well, well, about me, um, I think. You have a team? Yes, yes, a big team. Okay. <laughs> big team, yes. <laughs> but in my department, there are around uh, 30 person. Oh, okay. That's 30 person, lot. yes. Because uh, I have six engineers. Uh, okay. Bajo mi cargo. Six mm -hmm. engineering, engineering, uh, and then I have 20, uh, 25 trainers. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a big thing for me. Yeah. Well, I think about my about about my leadership. I think I have a quality like a listener. I would like to listen uh, to listen listen uh, my my team. Okay. I I I think I have a a quality very very strong is uh, respectful respectful. Okay. Respectful because uh, I would like to have respect uh, for all the people. Uh, I, don't, I don't like uh, uh, tratar. 
Não há Qual do isso é tratar? Treat people. Treat, treat. I don't like treat, but treat the people. Okay. Uh, and this is good. This is good because the communication is, is better. Better. Yes. Also, uh, I am negotiating. I, 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 I am a good negotiating. Negotiating. Negotiating, negotiating. Can you repeat, teacher? Negotiating. 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 Yes, I, I good. I am I am, I'm very good. In, okay. in the, that, yes. Uh, empathic too. Yes. Um, also, I, I'm I am very serious. Serious. Yes. When when I when I Pedir, pedir. Hey, how do you say pedir? <laughs> uh, ask. Oh ask. Oh, ah, yeah. ask. Can you ask? Ask. Can you uh, can you use the, this word to to do a question in in give and pedir? Okay. Yes. Yes. When when I when I ask uh, something uh, my team. I, I am, I, I do that very, very serious. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah. And self-censured. Why? <laughs> uh, because the, the characteristic is important that the other person, uh, you have the attention and uh, Empower uh, different activities uh, and uh, and what's a uh, 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 really the activity for for your opinion no obligation mm -hmm. for example yeah yeah uh, for example uh, I I finished the report the two o'clock for example ah. Uh, because my leader is is important for me, is necessary. Uh, I I believe the the action for for competition, no for obligation. This is the two different different uh, different activity. Is it the for me three three quality important the leadership? Okay. Yes, I agree. Um, Karen is a, a good manager. <laughs> it's very important, the question. <laughs> yes, in my case, in, in my job, uh, I am similar <laughs> leadership. Yeah. I, I, I am responsible for the group in the job. Uh, I have uh, to give them directions, but uh, I, in my case, uh, I don't, I, I'm not, uh, I don't know, rigid, in, in, I'm inflexible, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, I looking for the, um, equilibrio. I don't know. How do you say equilibrio? Teacher. The balance. Uh, Someone balance. balance. Yes. Balance. What What are you trying to say? Uh, balance, similar equilibrio. Yeah, it's the same. Balance. Okay. Balance. Okay. And it's in my case, I look for balance in the group. Because uh, in other situation, uh, me, me, uh, I, I need the team. Okay, this is my idea. This number two. Do you think <laughs> that being being a manager is a good job? Why or why not? Mm. 
Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not the same. Mm, it's similar, your, uh, it's, it's it's similar, similar but. <laughs> 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 but the managers, uh, <laughs> the managers, uh, okay. <clears throat> Personally, I think that the managers um, um, follow the objectives uh, to the company. That for days, uh, the objective must be committed. And in some cases, uh, doesn't care. Um, the people, uh, the people, the the team, the team, uh, and the uh, objective is uh, commit the, the the goal. For example. Could be uh, managers have uh, good managers and bad managers <laughs> always. And you, you? Uh, for example, in my opinion, the the good manager. I have, a, for example, a quality uh, and flexible and competent. This is characteristic in the, in the job. I will aggregate the, the leader. This is a complement, the good job, because the, it's important the manager uh, uh, dominate the, the, the team. And, and uh, it's necessary the man uh, at your control the, the your competition uh, competition in the in your job because the the other 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 uh, employees is necessary a different different problem or activities that is necessary. And for me, these are uh, two quality for flexible and competent. Okay, uh, in my opinion, Boris, what do you think? Uh, I think that the most difficult is to deal is to deal with people and people to give them 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 uh, then a good result, result, res, result, uh, and am I, uh, am I boss or are your boss? The depend my uh, the result of the 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 manager depend the the the, the responsibility the the, the people. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's wait for your classmates.
Time's up, time's up. Let's go back. Okay, welcome back. Okay, easy or difficult the questions? What do you think? Interesting teacher. Did this this question are interesting? Ah, very good. Did your classmate answer all the questions? Yes, all the questions, teacher. Full English, right? Full English. Only a, only a, one word in Spanish. <laughs> Which one? The teacher, uh, the question number four is interesting for me. Mm. Uh, I, I, I was uh, talking, I was talking with Pamela about this question. Mm -hmm. And I told her uh, to be, uh, be uh, a ser, become. I'm sorry? Uh, be, llegar a ser. Yes, be, become. become. Okay. Mm -hmm. be, uh, become a leader. Uh, it's good, but not always is. It's like the concept we we know. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, um, everybody say leader uh, and a manager, a uh, leader, uh, difference leader between boss. But uh, I don't know. L leader, not always. Uh, you, you can you can you can you can be a likely a empathy a, i don't know if uh, if i understand you but uh, you you need if you if you are a manager a, 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 or a boss you need you need be a, a exigent 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 serious uh, because if you don't be that uh, like like that, uh, many people don't don't respond, not res don't, don't respond. Okay. Uh, it, it's good uh, lead, uh, to become a, a leader. Uh, uh, the concept uh, is a is a person is a good person, uh, empathy, listen listener, but not always is good. Mm. But not, yeah, we, we we need to 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 have or get balance a balance a balance totally yeah. and you know if you are a good leader it doesn't mean that you are not going to be exigent right if you are a good leader it doesn't mean that you are not going to be strict what happens is the difference with a boss and a leader is that you have a way to treat people right mm -hmm. the ones that we were talking about yesterday convince instead of just giving order you can be strict of course but instead of just giving orders you convince people to do the job and you can be strict too okay but yeah that's an interesting point of view i like the way that you were giving details excellent and let's see let me interview you guys but before that, I'm going to check attendance. Eh, let's see, Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Very good. Eh, Boris Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto, no? Okay. Um, Carlos Ernesto. Present. Okay. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Elias Neftali. Present teacher. All right. Eulise Torres. Uh, oh, his listener. Um, Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Josman Atilio. Present. Excellent. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Nelson Alberto. Here. All right. Um, Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Very good. Pamela Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Rafael Alexander. Oh, he's listener, I'm sorry. Okay. Santiago Roberto. 
Okay, and Wilber Alberto. Okay, very good. Okay, let's start. Let me interview you and see your point of view. Mm, let's see. Kevin, hello, Kevin. Hello, teacher. Okay, Kevin, tell me, um, what leadership qualities do you think you have? Um, well, teacher, I, I didn't practice <laughs> in the... In oh, you did it. But, but I'm going to try to speak uh, mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, I feel that I I have um I don't know how can I say uh, ayudar help, help help to my uh, equipo a uh, team. To my team, I I I will I like to help and uh, to my team, and my team give me the same help. Oh, and okay. It is, it is important. Uh, oh, a qual it is a important quality. It is. Um, or quality maybe is I feel. Uh, empathy. Mm -hmm. So you are empathetic. Yes, yeah, I am empathetic, and it's it is um a good quality because you think in other persons, and you feel what what is feeling the mm -hmm. other person, and you try to do. Uh, the better things for the for this person definitely those person. for those people those people yeah definitely very good now let me ask you guys would you like to be a manager do you think that being a manager is a good job what do you think imagine that your boss says Hey, do you want to be the manager? <laughs> what would you say? Uh, in my case, is a uh, manager is difficult for the 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 my result with my result. With my result as manager depend the, the the other people. Your results depend from other people, yes. Yes. And uh, you uh-huh. Tell me, tell me. No, continue. So would you like to be oh, a manager okay. or, or not? In my case, uh I don't know the, the manager. Okay. It's is, uh, is, is, is difficult. Is, is, is difficult. Difficult? For the, difficult for, for uh, how do you say, tratar or tratar with deal? the employer. Deal. deal? Deal with the employees. The, 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 the employees. Yeah. Deal with the, people, the, the, guys, the, is very difficult. The people, the, yes, the, 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 the people is, uh, is the character different. Yes. Mm. <laughs> it, it, it's difficult. It, it, it is, it's totally. Mm -hmm. So how about you guys? Would you like to be a manager or not? What do you think? Uh huh. I think that being a manager is it's a good job because um, you can learn of, of people, but it's difficult because sometimes you have a big a big team um, and you have to know how to treat people 
uh, you are responsible of of one mistake um, if, if one person make a mistake you are responsible for that mm -hmm. you have to know how to correct it or respond uh, about that so it's it's a good job because you know managers have a good pay but it's you had a lot of things to do and you have a lot of responsibilities. That's true. So being a manager, it has positive and negative aspects, right? And talking about the managing of a warehouse, do you think that being a manager of a warehouse is easy or difficult? What do you think? Always, I think it's difficult because the responsibility uh, are the same. Correct. And as Pamela said, you have to be responsible of a lot of work, but not yes. only that, you have to be responsible of the people. And it's difficult to deal with people, guys. There are people that are very nice, but there are people that, that are very angry, right? And it's difficult. So advantages and disadvantages. Pretty good. Now continue talking about leadership. There are some verbs, vocabulary, guys. So please take note about the vocabulary. I have here some verbs and I want you guys to match these verbs with the correct definition. So for example, demonstrate. What is the meaning for demonstrate? What do you think? E, to show how to do. Okay, to show how to do. Do you think that is a characteristic of a good leader? Yes, teacher. Yes, they demonstrate how to do the process. Okay, now what is the meaning of recognize? Show appreciation. Show appreciation. Show appreciation. Does a manager need to recognize to the employees? Recognize the good job that an employee does? It's important because uh, they recognize uh, uh, motivate, motivate, uh, motivate the team. Yes, yeah. and it feels good, right? When your manager says, hey, you did a good job, right? It's pretty good when they recognize your effort. Very good. Okay, next one, authorized. Authorized something, what is that? See, to give official permission for. Permission. Yes, as a manager, do you need to authorize a lot of things? Yes or no? Yes. All the time, right? Very good. Okay, what is the meaning of supervise? To watch someone or something to make sure things about are done correctly. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, pretty good. Now, what is the meaning of clarify? Clarify something. Make something easier to understand. Pretty good. Excellent. And the last one, delegate. Volunteer for reading the definition? To give a part of your job to someone else in the company to do it for you. All right. As a manager, do you need to delegate different responsibilities to your employees? Always. Yes, all the time. Pretty good. Copy the verbs because we are going to need it, okay? Demonstrate, recognize, authorized supervise, clarify, and delegate. 
copy the verbs. We are going to use them. Copy the verbs. Did you copy? Yes? Yes. Everybody? Yes. yes? Okay, pretty good. Now, let's use this vocabulary to complete an exercise. I have here different sentences, and I wanted to put the correct word in the sentences. For example, look at the number one. If an employee is confused by your instructions, you will need to, hmm, what do you think? Which verb can we use there? Maybe teacher clarify. If an employee is confused by your instructions, you will need to clarify them. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, clarify, very good. Okay, I will give you three minutes, complete the sentences, and then we are going to verify if your answers are correct or not. So you can answer in your notebook and then we are going to see your answers. You have three minutes, go ahead. Read carefully, okay? Read carefully. Let me know when you finish. If you have a question, just let me know. You ready? Do you have the answers, everyone? Yes or not yet? Not yet, teacher. All right. Not yet. Okay. Okay, no worries. I will give you time. Read carefully, please.
Uh -huh. You ready? If you have a question, just let me know, please. All right, let's see. Let's start to verify some answers. So in the number two, I need a volunteer, please. Who has the answer of the number Me. two? Yes, go ahead. Okay, an effective manager knows how to supervise the so they have an, an enough time to do all their work. All right, so supervise. Do you agree, everyone? An effective manager knows how to supervise? I know. Delegate. I, I, delegate. 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 It's a great. It's a great. Yes, okay. I think it's delegate. Which one? Delegate. 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 Okay, let's review the vocabulary about delegate. What do we say that delegate means? What is delegate? Uh, give part of your job to someone ah. else. Yeah. Give part of your job to someone. And what happens if you give part of your job <clears throat> to other people? Look. Do they have enough time? Yeah, right? So in this case, actually, the best one is? Delegate. Yes, delegate. Okay, number three. A good number manager three. should... Uh -huh. uh, rec 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 recognize. Recon recognize? So, recognize. Okay. A good manager should recognize the work, the work they employer do and re reward them for it. Okay. So guys, recognize. What do you think? Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Totally. Very good. Number four. Who has the answer for the number four? A manager's style is to supervise closely. Yeah. Others prefer to take a step back. Hmm. So what do you think, guys? Supervise? Do you agree? Yes. Totally. That is the correct one. Okay, number five. Who has the answer in the number five? Demonstrate. Okay, can you read the full so, sentence, please? So you can then. So my co worker will demonstrate the process. So you can then practice it yourselves. Okay, so, yourselves. So what do you think, guys? Uh, demonstrate. Okay. Yes? Yes. Totally, that is the one. And the last one, the managers have to, ta, 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 a lot of tasks on a day-to-day -day basis. This frustrates employees. Mm -hmm. yes. Delegate, mm, but we already used delegate. Oh, right. 
Yes. Authorize. Authorize. Pretty good. Excellent. Sure. Yes. What is the meaning of day basis? Oh, day to day basis. If you remember, guys, we already checked the meaning of day to day. What was the meaning of the day to day? Dia, dia. Dia, dia. Yeah. And if we say day-to-day -day basis, what is that? What do you think? Como las obligaciones. Basically, day-to-day -day activities, day-to-day mm -hmm. uh, basic fundamentals, okay? So basically that, day-to-day -day activities, day-to-day -day responsibilities, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, any questions about these verbs? Yes? Nope? Teacher, no. I really uh -huh. uh, I don't understand the meaning the meaning of the six uh, sentence. Okay. Managers In have to authorize authorize. Website. Authorize yes. mm -hmm. a lot of facts. Como que tiene que autorizar muchas tareas. Imagine, guys, think about your job. In some cases, if you want to do something as an employee, you need to ask for authorization, right? Cada activity que quieran hacer, I mean, hey. You need to be authorized by the manager. ¿Y qué pasa si el manager está en una meeting? What happens if the manager is not available? What happens if the manager is busy? ¿Les va a poder dar la autorización en ese instante? Yes or no? Not no. really. And what do you have to do? <laughs> you have to wait, frustrated. right? Frustrated. And yeah. that's it's why... It's frustrated. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why, look, this frustrates employees. Why? Right. Because they cannot do the job. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Right. Okay, you're welcome. It's Any a nice question? example. <laughs> <laughs> and this happens. This happens, I think, that everywhere. Always, yeah. <laughs> All the time, definitely. All right, very good. Now, if we see, we have been talking about the positive characteristics of a good leader, right? Now let's see the opposites, the bad ones. Here we have some words, okay? And I want you to match them with the correct phrase about bad management. For example, a bad manager, what do you think? Take, what would be the correct phrase? Take credit for your work. Ah, do you agree, guys? Take credit for your job? Is that something positive or something negative? It's negative. negative. Totally, it's negative. right? A good leader, I mean, it's not going to take credit for your job. That is something about bad one. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, how about the number two? Resist. Resist. Change. Resist what? Change. 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 What does it mean? That they don't like to change. Okay. Have you ever seen this situation, guys, that you think? Um, Se puede hacer el trabajo más eficiente de esta manera. Right? You discover because you do it every day. But your, man your manager said, no, <laughs> we are not going to change the process. We are going to continue doing it in this way. It so, is the mean close. <laughs> have you ever suffered that situation? Yes. Yes? Yes. And how do you feel? Angry and frustrated. <laughs> Yes, you Teacher. do the job. Uh -huh. In the company, uh, we have a, a person mm -hmm. that it, he is working in finance, finance, and it and he is responsibly responsible responsible 
of mm-hmm. the money mm-hmm. and and i say and i tell him uh, i send you an email and he <laughs> said no 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 i need uh, the document in physical but why <laughs> yeah, it's, it's frustrating for me it is it is and this happens guys all the time and these kind of people i mean they resist change they don't like to change they are very used to and they no we're going to do it in this way always and forever it's pretty frustrated right stuff i'm sorry uh, okay now look at the number three have a bad characteristic for bad management have what do you think have recognition have their employees have to motivate well, staff recognition expectations look yes bad management have unrealistic expectations Imagine your job, guys, that you have a lot of work, a lot, and it's pretty difficult. And your manager says, okay, everybody, we need to finish this for tomorrow morning. <laughs> Is that a realistic expectation? Imagine. Or imagine if I say the first day in the class. Solo imagínense el primer día de clase que yo les dijera, guys, para mañana me terminan toda la plataforma, ¿ok? <laughs> Is that a, a, a realistic or unrealistic expectation? What do you think? Unrealistic. Unrealistic, right? So you know that it's also not possible. <laughs> so imagine, how can I ask you to finish the platform the first day of the class we haven't studied the topic it's a lot of work there are a lot of exercises so mm -mm, that is something unrealistic so a bad management they have unrealistic expectations have you ever suffered that situation everyone Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. And how do you feel about it? It's, that... frustrating. it's frustrating because uh, the this kind of boss uh, make me feel um, non-functional. Correct. In the end, guys you feel that you are not doing good job and it's not your fault you are doing your best but what happens is that the expectations are not real right so it, this aspect is pretty negative okay the next one blame what would be the correct match for blame the bad management always blame their the their employee. employees yeah <laughs> Yes, I agree. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Have you ever suffered this? Yes. What do you mean yes. blame? Oh, blame is culpar. Mm -hmm. For example, when there is a mistake and your boss says, Ah, Lorena, it's your fault. <laughs> so what is he doing? He is blaming you. Blame. Mm -hmm. Have you ever suffered that situation? Yes? Yes. Oh, yes. 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 And what did you do? <laughs> nothing nothing <laughs> i was in another job okay <laughs> but you did nothing okay okay so that is a negative characteristic okay so bad management mm, they blame their employees now number five not 
give. Recognition. 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 Totally. In the previous slides, we see, uh, we saw, right, that good leadership, they recognize the effort, but a negative one is the opposite. Don't give recognition. What happens, guys? How do you feel if you never receive the recognition for your effort? How will you feel? Terrible. I feel sad. <laughs> Yes, it's frustrating, it's, it's pretty sad actually, right? So that is a characteristic for bad management. And the last one, be unable to motivate staff. Very good. Do you think that it is important guys for a manager to motivate the staff? It is important? What do you think? Yes, yes. It is. And what happens if the manager is unable to motivate staff? What will happen? It's a, I feel, I feel don't necessary. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the company, right? You feel yes. that? Mm, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> you don't feel good there. So that is pretty sad. So you, here we got different bad characteristics, okay? And what other things do bad managers do? Do you have any other bad characteristics? What do you think? Uh-huh. What other things do bad managers do? Maybe give uh, an instruction a uh, uh, hard way. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Uh, stay the information only for he. Oh yes, that's terrible. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? Another bad characteristic, guys? Uh, could be they don't pay a paid attention for their employees. Ah, very good. That's another one, exactly. Uh-huh. Anything else? It's uh don't re, re i'm sorry don't retroalimentation the 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 job the employees don't mm. give the, don't give the feedback ah yeah, yeah that's a good one feedback. don't give feedbacks but not only don't give the feedback don't give the feedback in a good way right do you know that when we give, give uh, feedbacks, uh, how do you feel if the feedback is always only the negative things? How would you feel? Mm -hmm. Imagine que el feedback siempre sea negativo. How would you feel? I feel disappointed. Disappointed, <laughs> totally. Yeah. So a good manager, must give feedback, but in both can give you the positive and the negative, right? So you can see, ah, estoy haciendo mal esto, but hey, look at this one. I have some positives too. So that motivates you. So yeah, don't give feedback. That is important too. Okay. Don't recommendation. Don't. The recommendation. Um, what do you mean? The, 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 uh, as a, a good job, ah. oh, uh, not, uh, it's a, when you apply for another job, do, do it a, a, a good job, uh -huh. do it a good job, 
no recommendation is a is the other form uh, the other form mm -hmm. for do do it the job. I don't understand. I'm they sorry. don't provide uh, <laughs> any sorry. advice. Don't provide uh, advice. Yes. Uh huh. No. It's it's. Uh, I don't know. It's okay, uh, Boris. Is that what you uh, mean, Boris? Uh, I'm sorry. Repeat. Repeat, okay. please. Don't give advice. A eso se refiere cuando usted menciona uh, don't give recognition. Recommendation. Uh, 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 or recommendations. Uh, yeah. Recommendation. De, 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 no, is the recommendation the other form? Yeah. Advice. I'm sorry, in, in Spanish. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, um, hacer una recomendación para hacer el trabajo diferente si se está haciendo mal. Yes, in that case, it's correct what Nelson says. Give advice. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. Give advice. Okay. Because okay. advice is como un consejo, right? When a manager says, hey, I'm going to give advice how to do it differently. It's a recommendation. Okay? Okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. Very good, guys. So look, we already talked about positive and negative characteristic for leadership. Any questions about the vocabulary? Yes? No? No. no. Okay, keep in oh. mind the vocabulary, please, and try to use it. Now, uh, in the rest of the class, we are going to use transitions. When we have problems at work or in our personal life, we can have problems, we need to explain the problems, and then we need to explain a solution, a result. So how can we do it? We are going to use it with transitions. And that is the topic that we need to check. Imagine if I ask you, what are some problems that may affect warehouse? or a warehouse providers. We already talk about leadership, good and bad leadership. We already talk about the management. So what do you think? What are some problems that may affect a warehouse provider? What do you think? Any idea, everyone? Maybe about control of inventories. Very good. Mm -hmm. What else? Another problem that a warehouse can face? Think about, think about a warehouse. For example, no capacitation uh, the, uh, and the job opportunity. Uh, Okay, on time? On time. Okay. This is a problem. And totally. because, uh, uh, because it's the, uh, for the process. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good one. Very good. What else? Another problem that can affect a warehouse? Could be the maintaining of the warehouse. Okay. No, not all, not all the, of the people can this work. Yeah, not everybody can do that job. So imagine the problems that you already mentioned. Mm, how do you identify or prevent those problems? How can you prevent them? Uh huh. Imagine if I have a bad control or a bad inventory management, how can I prevent that problem? My tenant minds of the machinery, for example, mm -hmm. or the pickup. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? I believe that uh, check day-to-day uh, -day, uh, the activities of the task of every everyone. Okay. 
the day-to-day -day basis for everyone? Correct. So look, uh -huh. any other idea? And maybe when how bad a uh, pronostic about sales. Yes, and look, that is what where we were mentioned about the unreal expectation. We say, ah, we are going to sell all this product in one week. <laughs> and that may not happen. Okay, so unrealistic expectations. Pretty good. So why are we talking about problems? Well, because when we are using transitions, we need to explain the reason and the result. We are going to see this conversation. I have uh, uh, two people talking about some issues that they have with their orders. Okay, let's find out what happens in this conversation. Okay, and let's see the vocabulary. For this practice, I need two volunteers. Who wants to read? Me, teacher. Who's Amy? Boris. Boris, thank you. Okay, Boris, and I need someone else. Me. Who's Amy? Me. Oh, Nelson. <laughs> and what happens, guys, thank is you. that when you say me, I cannot see your your name, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm trying to do it bigger. Give me a second so you can see it very well. This is the biggest that I can do it. Okay, so let's start please. Boris, Mr. White, Nelson, your Daniel, go ahead. Okay, Daniel, I going over some purchase, purchase orders, but the products received down match the orders. This has happened three times already. 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 Oh, I bet it happened during the class, the, during the days the system received maintenance and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time we have a copy of with the correct numbers well that's fantastic the information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost as a result we overpaid for three incomplete, incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five. So you can contact the company and ask for our reimbursement. Reimbursement, uh, no. yeah, yeah, that's the one. Okay, everybody, what's happening here? What are the problems that they have? Is the order push incomplete? Ah, okay. So they have issues with the order. Why? What was the reason? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think that they have issues with the purchase? Look. It's the, I'm oh, sorry. Maybe it happens, right, when the system received the maintenance, and that's why, look, we have here some transition. That's why it says that your department, well, didn't receive the right information. And what else? What else happens here? What happens to the information? Look, the information yeah. sent to the finance department was wrong. And look at the vocabulary. If the information was wrong, what is the result? Look. The they, purchase doesn't match. Exactly. So they have to overpaid. What is the meaning of overpaid sobre precio yes that you need to pay 
more. Yeah. So in the end, what are they asking for? They are asking for a reimbursement. Reimbursement. What, okay. what is that? Reimbolso? Yes, totally. So look, in this conversation, we are explaining a problem. And also, we are explaining what happens at the end. What was the result? And that is basically what we are going to study today. These transitions. In English, we have different transitions. This box is just an example of the different transitions that we have. We have transitions about time. Uh, if you remember, we were studying some connectors. So transitions are very similar. So we have transitions to give examples. Do you remember the connectors that we use to give examples? Yes. For instance. For instance, for example. So when we are saying transitions, guys, basically is the same. They are connectors, okay? And the same as we have different type of connectors. In this case, we have different type of transitions. We have transitions for explaining effects. We have transitions if you want to make an emphasis or if you want to give a conclusion. Today, we are going to study only the ones that we use to express effect or result, okay? And be, be, uh, be careful and pay attention here because this is something that appears in one of your exercises on the platform, okay? Let's see the meaning. Ignore these ones because we are not going to use this. Focus only in the sign and effect. What is the meaning of consequently? What is the meaning of that word? Any idea? It's the happen. Mm, for the action. Mm -hmm. What would be the translation for consequently? Consequentemente. Consequentemente. Mm, that is the way that we say it in Spanish. Como consecuencia. Ah, mm -hmm. in Spanish we say more like como consecuencia or we say something like por consiguiente, right? Or por lo tanto, that's the way that we say it in Spanish. It's pretty weird. Casi no decimos consecuentemente, right? Not really. Más que todo decimos por lo tanto, como consecuencia, a raíz de esto. That is the meaning of consequently. Understood? Yes. Yes. And consequently, guys, is basically the same as a consequence. They are basically the same. Okay? Got it? Yes. So, for I example, imagine um, that you don't go to work. <laughs> Imagínense que ustedes no van a trabajar una semana. ¿Les van a pagar esa semana? Mm. <laughs> Not right. <laughs> oh. So, what's your manager? ¿Qué va a decir su manager? Ah, okay. Nelson didn't come to work one week. As a consequence, I'm not going to pay him. <laughs> okay? So, we are explaining the effect, okay? The result, the consequences of an action. <clears throat> Another transition is as a result. 
Is it clear the meaning of as a result? Yes. Literality. And, yes, the yeah. translation is literal. How about therefore? What is the meaning of therefore? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tanto. Yes, good job. That is the one. It's when we say, por lo tanto, ta, 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 ta. okay? Por tal motivo, ta, 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 ta. Or when we say like, así que, así que pues, <laughs> right? So that is the meaning of therefore. Please take note of the words, take note of the meaning because we are going to use them, okay? Then we have an easy one and this is very common because of this. What is the meaning of that? Because of this. Uh -huh. Debido a esto. Debido a esto. Okay. What else? Any other idea? Por este motivo. Por esto. Exactly. Por esto, por lo tanto, a causa de esto. Right? Uh, imagine if you say, okay, why you didn't come to work? <laughs> ¿Por qué faltaron one week? Ah, I was sick. I went to the hospital. I was on my bed during the full week. And because of this is that I didn't go to work. Okay, so you are explaining. So that is the function of the transitions, everyone. In this scenario, we are explaining an effect. We are explaining the result of something, the consequences. Then we have, for this reason, the translation is, it's simple, right? It's literal. Then we have the word hands. What is that, everyone? Any idea? Hence? No. Actually, guys, all of these words are basically synonyms. So, hence can be translated as por lo tanto, por eso, por tanto, por consiguiente. Okay, so that's some of the translations for hence. Okay, and the last one we have thus. What is that? Mm -hmm. Does. Any idea? Nope. Okay, so does is like when we say, así que, de este modo, por tanto, right? Uh, or when we say, pues, entonces, <laughs> okay? Ni modo. Mm, no. no, no, ni modo is different. Yeah. Okay. So, but look, in the end, guys, basically all of them have like very similar translation. All of these ones basically are just synonyms. Okay. So, copy them because we are going to use them. As I mentioned before, in this moment, guys, only these column is the ones that we are going to study. Ignore the rest. We are not going to use the other ones, only this. Did you copy them? Yes? Yes for me. Okay. Everybody, did you copy? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, pretty good. So remember the meaning is vocabulary. The idea is to learn them. Now I have some sentences 
I want you to complete the sentences using your own information. And I want you to finish the sentences using those transitions. Let me open up the exercise. Okay, can you see the exercises? The sentences, yes? Yes. Okay, look at this one. I usually study hard for a test. As a result, what's going to happen? I passed the 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 grade the test okay. mm -hmm. or I have good grades Great. so imagine we can use this sentence specifically because in this sentence we are using the transition right of an effect. Now, complete the sentence. Imagine if I say, I usually wake up early every day. What is the result if you wake up early every day? Uh huh. As a result, I arrive early in the job. Okay, cool. How about if I say, I always got to sleep late. Imagine if you want to express the result, give me the result using one of these transitions. I always got to sleep late. For this reason, I wake up tired. <laughs> Very good example. Very good. Now, imagine if I say, um, I always drink a lot of alcohol. What happens if you drink a lot of alcohol? Mm -hmm. Therefore. Uh huh. is feel about you feel about you feel what you feel bad you feel bad yes very good imagine if i say i always practice my english uh-huh What is the result if I always practice my English? Uh, consequently, I speak better. Very good. That is the one. So you see, we have an action and we are using the transition to explain the result. That is the function of these phrases. As I mentioned, guys, basically they are like connectors okay is it clear the meaning of these transitions everybody yes 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 teacher yes all right now something that we need to keep in mind about these transitions when we are speaking is pretty easy to use them the problem most of the time is when we will have to write it. And this is the exercise that we had on the platform, as if you remember, or for the ones that already did it. Okay, this exercise is on your manuals, okay? So the problem with the transitions is the punctuation, okay? So in these transitions, we have two sentences. One sentence is the action and the other sentence is the result. And what happens if we use them? We have two options and I explained this when I explained the exercise. Imagine I have the first sentence. The first sentence is the action. 
okay? The label information was wrong. That's the action. What is the result? The result is that the packages were put in the incorrect beans. So I have the action and I have the reaction. I need to connect them. How can I connect them? I'm going to use the transition. But look, what do I need first? I need to separate it by a point. After a point, what do I need? Lowercase or capital letter? Capital, capital letter. Capital letter. Then the transition, and after the transition, what do I need? Coma. A coma, okay? Another option, instead of using the point, what is the other option that I have? Uh -huh. A coma? Has a result. Okay, look, but this one, what is the name of this symbol? How can I say punto y coma? How can I say that? Do you remember? Semicolon. That is the one, very good. So guys, you can decide. You can use point or you can use a semicolon. After a semicolon, what do I need? Uh-huh. The transition. With capital letters or lowercase? Lowercase. Yes, that is important. After a semicolon, you don't need capital letters. So you have the transition and again, what do I need? A coma. So this is the rule, guys, about the transitions. And that is the difference with the connectors. If you see with the connectors, when you are writing, not with all of the connectors, you need period or you need the comma or the semicolon. Not really, right? But with the transitions, the punctuation is more important. So that is something that you have to remember, OK? When you have the transition in the middle of the sentence, Remember, you have to connect the two sentences. So you will have two options, period, capital letter, and then comma, or semicolon, lowercase, and at the end, a comma. Understood? Yes? Is it clear, the punctuation? Okay, let's have yes, a practice. Teacher. Let's have a practice so it can be easier. If you see, do you remember this exercise? For the ones who worked on the platform, look at the first sentence. We remove items for cartoons and packages. This is the action or this is the result? The action. the action. This is the action. The next sentence, speakers are not able to find them when they need to. That sentence is the result. What is the transition here? As a result. As a result. As a result. Okay, it's missing something. What is missing? Semicolon. Ah, very good. We need the punctuation, okay? In this case, um, because we don't have capital letters, we can use a semicolon. Oops. Semicolon, I think that I'm going to put it in the right way. <laughs> okay, semicolon. And after, what do I need? I have the semicolon. 
comma. Yes, and now I need a comma. comma. Look, <laughs> it is not exactly in the place, but it's difficult to put it correctly. But you understand. So that is the problem with the transition. Again, when you're speaking, it's not difficult. The problem is when you are writing an email, for example, you are writing a letter, a document, it is important, the punctuation. Okay, in the next one, sentence number two, which one is the transition in the sentence number two? Consequently. Very Consequently. good. Consequently. So what is the punctuation symbols that I need? Mm -hmm. comma. I need a comma. Where? A simple box. A comma after consequently. Okay, after consequently, I need a comma, yeah, right? Comma. Okay, there is a comma. <laughs> oh no, it's so ugly. Okay, let's do it again. So this is the comma, okay. But you know what? Today, I don't want to use semicolon. I want to use a period. So if I use a period, do I need to do any changes? Yes, you need to change. A the first letter, a uh, capital letter of consequent. Very good. Look, in this case, I have lowercase. If I have period, I need capital letter. Okay? That's the only things that you have to consider when you are writing. So that is something that you need to keep in mind when you do the exercise on the platform, everyone. Okay, so you can try. Si no les acepta el semicolon, okay, try with the period. Just remember, if you use the period, you need capital letter. Is it clear? Yes? Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, disculpe, pero sabe español, ese ejercicio yo no lo, lo puedo hacer. Y mm -hmm. he intentado, estoy intentando hacer como usted le clica y... Tampoco puedo hacer alguna. Pudiera al menos orientarme con alguna. Of course. If you want, guys, let's complete this exercise not here, but on the platform. Okay? Let's complete the exercise in the platform for the one who cannot or haven't done it yet. Let me open up the exercise on the platform. Give me one second. Okay. Here we got the platform. Can you see it? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. The first things that you need to keep in mind, guys, with this exercise is that you need to write it correctly. As I mentioned before, if one letter is wrong, the exercise will be wrong. So in this case, my recommendation is if you are on the computer, it will be easier because you can just copy and paste, right? So we got the first sentence over here. You copy the first one, that is the action. Then what is the transition in this sentence? As a result. As a result, this is the transition. So, in this case, guys, the, uh, the instruction of the exercise says, apply the corresponding punctuation. So we have two options. Podemos usar un semicolon or we can use the point. You decide. My recommendation is in this exercise, try with both. For example, in the number one, okay, Voy a intentar primero con un point, okay? So, do I need capital letters? Yes or no? Or do yes. I need lowercase? Capital letter. capital letter. Capital letter, okay. Entonces, cambiemos a capital letter. Después del result, ¿qué tengo que hacer? What do Come. I need to do? Come. Toma. 
a comma, okay? And then we need to copy the rest of the sentence that in this case, the rest of the sentence is the result, okay? And I put it here. And don't forget the last period. So we are going to try. Veamos si acepta. Let's see if he accepts. And look at this one. The answer, it seems that is incorrect. So what we need to do? Cambiemos la puntuación. Si les aparece incorrecta, entonces cambiemos la puntuación. En lugar de usar un period, what do we need to use? Point. 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 Semi. Point. Semi-point. Semicolon. Okay? Semicolon. Okay. Entonces, si uso el semicolon, do I need capital letter? No. Yes or no? No. 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 Lowercase. Do I need a comma? Yes. Yes. That is not going to change. Okay, let's try it now. Hmm. Okay, let's remove the last period. Maybe it's the last period. Okay. Okay, let's see. Hey, it's always taking it as incorrect. Let's see. Yo creo que es porque ya lo envié muchas veces. No sé si es por eso que siempre me lo está tomando equivocado. Teacher, yo las trabajé con, por, con punto. Ajá. Pero es y que lo que pasa es que I have done these exercises many times in order to share it with you. So no sé si por eso es que ya no me acepta la respuesta. Okay, I think that is because of that. I'm not sure. But look, that is basically what you have to do, guys. Okay? Copy the first sentence and then just add the punctuation. Okay? Intenten con un semicolon, lowercase, and then a comma, and then copy the rest of the sentence. Okay? Pickers are not able. Ta, 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 ta. Ahora, si no se las toma como correctas, then change it. Intenten colocando, en lugar de un semicolon, let's try with a period or a point. Solo recuerden, si van a usar el punto, necesitan capital letters. Okay? And guys, if you are on the computer and you can copy and paste, I highly recommend that. Because if you forget one letter, the exercise will be wrong. Okay? The same happens with the next one. Lo mismo. This is the first sentence. In this sentence, which one is the transition? Where is the transition here? Consequently. Okay. What does it mean? Antes de consequently, ¿qué tengo que agregar? Como. Mm, semicolon. Coma? Mm. Ah, a, semicolon. a semicolon. After the semicolon. Do I need capital letter after the semicolon? No. Sí no? No. No, 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 no. No, Sorry. right? No, no, no. Then the comma, the comma. And then you add the rest of the sentence. Okay? Si se las toma como incorrectas, simplemente, guys, cambien. Entonces digan, ah, ok, ya no voy a usar un semicolon, no que voy a usar un point. Oh. ¿Necesito hacer algún cambio si uso un point? Yes. yes. Capital, Capital letter. letter. Capital letter. Ok. And this is the way that you have to complete this exercise. Is it clear, Salvador, how you can do this? Sí, hoy entiendo cómo debe hacer. Mm -hmm. Try. As I said, guys, in this case, this is a topic that we haven't started, so that's why we are reviewing it. But try with both. Remember that the platform is set. Ya está como configurada para una respuesta en específico. Ok, so eh, ambas respuestas son correctas, tanto si ustedes usan un point or if you use the semicolon, both are correct. Ok, be careful with the microphones. So, both are correct. Ambas se pueden. El problema es que tenemos que coincidir con la respuesta que ha sido programada en la plataforma. Por eso es que tenemos que intentar con ambas. Understood? Yes. 
Yes. yes teacher. Yes. Pretty good. Do you have any question about this exercise? Okay, in the number three, what is the transition in the number three? Therefore. 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 And what is the meaning of therefore? Por lo tanto. Yes. This is like when we say so as a result, they are just synonyms. So in this case, do the same. Copy the first sentence, try with a point, capital letter, and continue. If the answer doesn't accept it, okay, semicolon, transition, and don't forget that after the transition, we need a comma. Got it? Everyone? Yes? Yes. Pretty good. Yeah. Try. If you still don't have the correct answers in the exercises, let me know. So I will help you with that again. Okay? Good. Now, because of the time, let me check attendance the last time, please. Or ya cheque attendance la segunda vez? Yes? No? Okay, let me no. check it again, please. If you listen to your name, say present. Ana Lorena? Present teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander? Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto? Carlos Alberto? Okay. Eh, Carlos Ernesto? Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Antonio? Present teacher. Very good. Elias Neftali? Present teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres? Oh, his listener, okay. Jose Salvador? Present teacher. Very good. Josman Atilio? Thank you. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo? Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto? Present. All right. Osman Enrique? Present. Thank you. Pamela Carolina? Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander? Oh, his listener. Thank you. Santiago Roberto? And Wilber Alberto. Okay, well, everyone, we don't have more time. Tomorrow, we are going to continue practicing these transitions, not in a written way, but in a speaking way. Okay, so try to review the vocabulary, try to memorize it, please. Now, before leaving today, um, I'm not going to ask any winner. I think that everybody already we're winners <laughs> okay so we're going to stop here everybody you can go to sleep have a wonderful night please connect tomorrow tomorrow is friday guys have good a good night, night. see you good tomorrow night, take care good night